Optifine and Fabric. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Optifine with your Fabric mods using the OptiFabric mod extension. Basically, OptiFabric links Optifine and Fabric together. That makes sense? I hope so. But in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download, install, and get Optifine running in Fabric. You can use it right alongside any other Fabric mods you have, and you can use all of Optifine's features, including shaders. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I mentioned there was the OptiFabric extension. Like I said, this links Optifine and Fabric together, kind of sitting in the middle as a bridge. And you can download this by going to the second link in the description down below, and it will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to get the OptiFabric mod set up, but what you hear is clicking the yellow download button. It will then take you to OptiFabric's download page, where you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the 1.19 section. Under that, you'll see OptiFabric, click on the orange download file, and after a few seconds, it will start downloading. While it's downloading, though, have a miss our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love to host Apex so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on them, so go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a Minecraft server set up with 24 hours, 7 day a week support should you have an issue and one click mod installation. Go to Apex again, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and once this is downloaded, keep it in the bottom of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may not have to do that, but I always like to mention it. You could keep it in the bottom of Chrome or save it on Firefox. It's 100% safe to do that. We also need to download Optifine. You can find that link in the description down below. That will take you to our dedicated Optifine tutorial where you just want to scroll down and click on the yellow download Optifine button. That takes to Optifine's download page where currently Minecraft 119 is in preview. However, if you do have just a version listed here, click on Mirror under Minecraft 1.19. Otherwise, click Preview Versions and then download the one closest to the top. In our case, that's Pre-7. Click on the Mirror link next to Optifine Pre-7. It could be Pre-8, Pre-9. The higher the version, the better. So go ahead and click Mirror next to that. That links to the official download page for that specific version, where we can click the blue download button and the download will begin in the bottom left, right like so. Awesome. However, it is worth noting at this point, you may need to keep Optifine in the bottom left or save it in the center screen, depending on the browser you have. Now, the last thing we need to download is the Fabric Mod Loader itself. So you can find Fabric, you guessed it, the description down below. This is actually a complete guide that will show you how to download, install a Fabric Loader. We're going to go through everything here, but it is good to know that is there if you need help. Once you're here, click the yellow download button and it will take us off to Fabric's official download page where you want to click on the download universal jar. Now, some people would say click on download for Windows, but I recommend the universal jar because if you install it that way, all other mod loaders, Forge and mods, things like that are going to work for you. So go ahead and click on download universal jar. It'll download on the bottom left. You may need to keep or save the file again, depending on your browser. Now we can minimize our browser and we want to move all of these files to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. In this downloads file folder here, open this up. And then in here, we have Fabric, Optifine, and Optifabric. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at here is the Fabric installer. Then we'll install Optifine. Now, to install Fabric, you need to right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or I don't have Java, and my icons look weird. Well, to fix either of those weird icons or not having Java, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and servers, and obviously Optifine's a Minecraft mod, so we need Java 17. Go to this simple tutorial, goes through everything in depth to get Java set up and running, and then you may need to run the jar fix. The jar fix is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. You can find the jar fix in the description down below. This is also what's going to fix those icons. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser, right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer, where you want to make sure 119 is selected, which it is here. You want to make sure Create Profile is also selected, and then click Install. So you're going to download, install, and boom, there you go. Fabric Loader 4119 has successfully installed. Awesome. Click OK, and then we can close out of the Fabric Installer. You can also delete it from your desktop. Now, let's go ahead and get Optifine and Opti Fabric installed. To do this, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then you want to go ahead and click on Installations. So once we're in the Minecraft Launcher here, immediately come up here to the top and click Installations. Now, if you have this Fabric Loader installation, Fabric Loader 119 specifically, awesome. You're good to continue with this tutorial. But if you don't, we need to make sure you get this. First, make sure modded is checked. You can see we uncheck modded, it's gone. But if we check modded, there it is. Awesome. However, if you still don't have Fabric Loader 119, let's go ahead and create it. So let's go ahead and do new installation. And then let's go ahead and name this. I'm going to name this Optifine with Fabric 
right like so. Then we're going to change our latest release version here to release Fabric Loader 119. This right here, as you can see, 119 at the end, Fabric at the beginning, that's what we want. That's the most important part of creating this installation. And then we're going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so we can see once we get in game. Let's get create in the bottom right. We have this new Optify with Fabric installation. Hover over the one you created or the Fabric Loader, doesn't matter which, and click on the folder that appears. That's going to open up our .minecraft folder. Now in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? I don't either. So we just need to create one. So right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up the mods folder, and then we want to take Optifine and OptiFabric both and drag and drop them into this mods folder. You can also have all their fabric mods in here. So for example, if you wanted the fabric version of Xero's minimap, you could add that in here, no problem. It's going to work with Optifine. So now we can go ahead and close out of the mods tab, and we can launch up fabric. So we do that either with the fabric profile we created or the one that's here, fabric loader, on already. Doesn't matter which we use, just click play, then click play again. Now, fabric's going to open up with Optifine installed. It's that simple to get Optifine working with fabric. The biggest thing is having both OptiFabric and Optifine installed in the same mods folder. If you don't, it will not work. It's also worth mentioning that sometimes versions can be an issue. For example, you may need to download an older version of Optifine in order to get this to work. That's not the case right now, but it could be the case in the future, meaning you could need like pre-6 instead of pre-7. Right now, though, you need the newest version. They try to keep things up to date with that, but sometimes it can be a little messy. But once we're here, the only way to see that Optifine's installed is one, in the bottom left, it does say Optifine 119. We can also go into Options, Video Settings, and there are all the Optifine settings. Quality, Performance, and of course, Shaders. Mega Ultra Fast Shaders is already selected for me, but let's go ahead and jump in the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. I clicked on the wrong server, play.breakdowncraft.com, and we'll be able to see that Shaders is in fact active. Look at that! Shaders is rocking and rolling. I love it. We can do P time day real fast, and there we go. Look at that. Got the god rays coming in, got the reflections on the water, and uh, if we get close to some trees over here, we should be able to see them swaying as well. We can see the water moving. So cool. Wow. Uh, are the trees swaying? This might be a, a makeup ultra fast issue if they're not. Yeah, the, the trees are swaying a little bit, but the grass, that's really moving. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy fabric with Optifine. Like I said, any fabric mods will work with this. So no matter what fabric mod it is, as long as it'll work in Minecraft 119, guess what? It will work with Optifine and OptiFabric as well. Just make sure OptiFabric is there. If OptiFabric isn't there, OptiFine won't work. Unlike Forge, OptiFine doesn't support fabric directly, and that's why you need that bridge mod. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.